In today's video, I want to share with you a specific and clear example of how much things have changed in Denmark, in the real estate market in the last year. In late 2017, so that is a bit more than three years before the time I'm shooting this video, I went to view this place. And this is a classy place in Linsensbrugge, had a lot of light, a big balcony, a beautiful common garden, and I liked the place a lot. I ended up being bidding for this place, and my bid got rejected, but in the end I bought a place, the current place I'm shooting this video on, which is in the same building, similar for setup, almost all the same. The specific apartment I showed you, this one has been sold then in December 2017, after seven months in the market, for the grand price of 5,050,000 Danish krona. After seven months in the market, 5,050,000 Danish krona. And then fast forward to May 2021, and I could see up there, from my own balcony to the same place, it's up for sale again. When I saw the place was up for sale, I went to Boliga, I went to Bolig Sidon because I was curious to see how does it look like now, how much are they selling it for. Again, not that I'm interested in buying it anymore, right? But then just for curiosity to compare before and after. And I couldn't find it. It was not on Boliga, it was not on Bolig Sidon, it was not on the real estate agent's website, not on their Facebook page. No, it was just the notice on the building saying it's for sale. And fast forward less than a week, so it got up for sale last week, or at least they added this notice for sale last week. And just yesterday already, it had a sold sign on. And again, this is a place that then got sold without going online, without sales of stealing, without photos, without nothing. And I wrote to the real estate agents and told them, hey guys, I mean, you sold the place already? And they told me, yes, they sold the place now for 6.3 million. If you remember, it got sold for 5.05 million in 2017. And again, it took seven months in 2017. Now it took just seven days or less. On top of that, what the real estate agents told me was that they sold it for more than the asking price because they had multiple people bidding for the place on top of each other and basically an, almost an auctioning of the place. How crazy is that? So to wrap up as well is here in instance, Boogie, things have not changed too much. So it's not like a Carcer Puen or a North Haven, which in 2017, there was a lot of construction going on and you basically bought with a dream of, okay, in a few years, this neighborhood is gonna look nicer and it's gonna be more refurbished and so on. And then of course, it's gonna be more valuable to live there. No, here it's basically all the same. I mean, it was nice then, it's still nice now. It's just that the market has changed. And what took seven months and sold for 5.5 million or 5.05 million in 2017, now it sold in less than seven days for 6.3 crazy. So my key takeaway is that in case you're looking to buy a property, you need to act more proactively. Whatever we has been working on until last year is not working now anymore. You see that the best properties, the ones that look really nice, the ones that have all the best features, they might not even show up online at all. They might not be on Boliga, they will not be on Bolig Sidem. They're not even in the real estate agent's website. It's crazy. And what you need to do in a case like this, if you want to get a hold of these best opportunities, is that you need to reach out to the real estate agents, so to the ADC, to the New Bolig, to the Dam Bolig, to the state and all those guys, and tell them that you're looking for in this specific area, for this amount of rooms, for this budget, and that you're serious, that you're willing to buy and you're willing to make a move as soon as the things pop up. At the same time, get your loans clarified with your bank, make sure that you get all the pre-approvals done so you can bid with a forceful knowledge that, okay, you can you have them backing you up. Same with your real estate lawyer, have all that in place. So when the opportunity comes up, you can action them quickly and go for it. Again, it's a seller's market, 100%, so it's not the ideal way I would go ahead you know, and, and buy something, but if you want to have a success in a market like this, this is what you need to do. And that's it. There is not much I wanted to say in this video, so more than that, more on the real estate market in Denmark, you have a video over here and one more over here, so thanks for being here and all the best.